This is part 15 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the jQuery disabled selector, enable selector, and where you can find jQuery selectors documentation. First, let's look at the disabled selector, colon disabled. This selector is going to select all elements that are disabled. Let's look at a few examples. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So the HTML that we have here will produce this output. I'll have this entire HTML available on my blog in case you need it. At the moment, on this page, we have four elements that are disabled. These two text boxes, the drop-down list, and the submit button. So what we want to do now is select all those elements that are disabled and set a three-pixel solid red border around them. So within the script section, we already have the ready function wired up. Now we want to select all elements that are disabled and then we want to set a border which is 3 pixel solid red. So let's save these changes and let's reload this page. Look at that, all those elements that are disabled gets a solid red border. Now here we are selecting all the disabled elements. Instead, let's say we want to select only input elements. So here the drop-down list is not an input element, whereas the text boxes and the submit button, they are input elements. So we want to select only the input elements that are disabled. So input colon disabled. Let's save the changes, reload the page, and look at that. The red border around the drop-down list goes away because that is not an input element, right? So only the text boxes and the submit button gets a solid red border. Now, let's say we want to filter this even further. I want all input elements of type equals text to have you know, a solid red border around them. If that's the case, you can filter that by using the attribute selector. So basically, we can say, give me all input elements where type attribute equals value text and that are disabled. So this is going to return us all input elements of type equals text and that are disabled. So when we reload this page only, these two text boxes should have a solid red border. Now let's look at enabled selector. So colon enabled, this is going to select all elements that are enabled. So instead of disabled here, I'm going to use enable and if you look at this page you know this text box and the text area element they are enabled so let's save the changes reload the page and look at that the all the elements that are enabled gets a solid red border now instead of selecting all the elements if you want to select just this text area element then you can use the tag selector in conjunction with that colon enabled selector. So I can say text area colon enable. So what is this going to do? Give me all text area elements that are enabled and then set a three pixel solid red border. So when we save the changes and when we reload this, only the text area element should have a red border. Okay. So where we can find the selectors documentation, this is the URL, and when you navigate to that page, you can see all the jQuery selectors here, the complete list. I'll have this link available on my blog. Now, we have discussed most of the commonly used selectors. If you need information about any of the jQuery selectors, you can come on to this page and then click on the selector that you're interested in. For example, if you click on this button selector, and it will take you to another page where you will have the description of what that selector is capable of doing and an example. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you for listening and have a great day.